is the real star of extras, the brilliant Stephen Merchant. Stephen, it's great. Good, I'm very, you. very pleased and excited to have you here. Yes, yes, I imagine so. Yes, good. Now, here's the thing about Stephen Merchant. I don't know if you noticed it, but he's a very tall man. <laughs> when you walked out there, I was quite impressed by how tall you were. It was quite yes, exciting. Yes, brilliant. And, and I have a... <laughs> what an amazing <laughs> observation well, you've made. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, we have a present for you as well, Stephen. OK, great. OK, because I know you have uh, difficulty getting clothes. So we, we have something. Yes. I've got you from one of the specialist shops that no doubt you frequent. Right. And this yes. is uh, it's something for you to wear. And I think I okay. hope you've got the right size. Thank you very much. Did All you right. shop for this yourself? Of course not. No. Thank well, you. Well, <laughs> but I sent them out and I gave them specific instructions to, to make sure it was something that was smart and fashionable. Because I'm sure you have trouble finding fashionable garments that can fit yes. and easily. <coughs> and they should. A pair of. <laughs> <laughs> Get the right side. Because I wanted to make sure that they weren't snug. Thank you. <laughs> Will you wear them first later? I've won, <laughs> I've won three BAFTAs and that's what you're giving me. <laughs> well, that's what it's nice to ground to bring you. Bring me down. <laughs> yeah, thank um, you. But uh, I, I, we won't go into finding clothes. Um, here's what I want to ask you. Is, uh, I'm very excited about the Extras Christmas special. I've been Thank looking you. forward to it very yes. much. Last you make year, a brief appearance, of course, yourself. A very brief appearance. An O2 brief appearance. So frustrating as well, because I don't know if you remember, but for a small while, Jonathan had an absurdly comical little beard. No, no, no. It was not <laughs> at the beginning of the series. It was a quite a dashing beard. No, it wasn't. It made you look like D'Artagnan from the <laughs> Three Musketeers. Hold it. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you, would you like to see the beard back? Yeah. Well, we'd like to see the beard back as well. <laughs> Because we're all set to have you on the show, you know, as Jonathan Ross, and we get this call in just before we're about to have you. Don't be alarmed, guys. He's got a tiny, stupid little beard. No, no. <laughs> and you said to us you'd keep it at least until Christmas so it wouldn't look out of, you know, look weird on the show. I kept Where it for, is it? I kept it for a few weeks. I kept it for a few weeks, but then we had to, we had to take it off. Because it looked absurd. Yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking? I thought it looked quite dashing. I wanted to look quite masculine for once in my life. But it's not going to worry. It made you look like Willy Wonka or something. <laughs> how come Beaker from The Muppets is giving me advice about how to look? <laughs> how has this worked out in this way? Eh? There you go. <laughs> how, how come you're telling me what looks silly? <laughs> <laughs> I think Biggins just sat on Dickinson. Uh, you know Sorry, do you mean... Do you, what? I, you've lost me. I'm you, just you, still you, quite offended by the being compared to a Muppet. <laughs> like, it's supposed to be Christmas. Like, that hasn't happened to you before? Well, only I'm, by you and your comedy cohort, Ricky Gervais. Yeah, well, well... People don't shout it in the street. I'm not walking by. Well, hey, Fraggle! <laughs> <laughs> Fraggle's another good one, yes. Thanks. What, what, what do they shout when they see you in the street? Do they shout anything? Do you get much recognition yet? Because it's fairly recent that you have yeah. become a bigger part of, of the work that you do with Ricky. Uh, sometimes people do... Uh, b b being tall is somehow more interesting to people than being on the telly. Yeah. So I've had... Oh, really? Ever since I was a young, I, people have shouted stuff and... Um, I think there's a thing with being tall that people don't see it as... Um, they see it as an achievement. Like, you know, you've accomplished something because you've got tall. Yeah. And well done to you. And so you wouldn't... If you saw a very tiny person, you wouldn't go, hey, Titch. You know, you probably would, but yeah, yeah. the average nice person wouldn't. I wouldn't, wouldn't. shout, hey, Titch, but if they had a hunchback or something, I would touch it for luck. Right. <laughs> but you wouldn't... That's a good thing. No, everyone knows People you should like that, always right? touch yeah. a hunchback for luck. Yeah, because otherwise... Because it, and yeah. you miss one. It's not like they're buses. There's right. not another one coming. You don't see many hunchbacks now. Sometimes you only see one every couple of days. Frustratingly, it's been stamped out. I what I like best is to actually rub it with my whole arm. Yeah. And see, because I was told a genie might come out. Sure. They appreciate it. They really do. But, yeah, if you see a little hunchback fellow, you generally would say, you know, can I rub you for luck? But you wouldn't insult him or... I wouldn't. Right. Whereas, and if you saw a very fat person, again, someone maybe cruel would, but generally people are very polite. But with tallness, with tallness, is that a word? With height, with great height. Comes great responsibility. Comes great responsibility. And people sort of somehow assume that you're very proud of it. So they'll drive by in vans. Hey, Lanky! Yeah. I mean, just, like, slowing yeah. down to shout it and <laughs> people making comments. Oh, you're so tall. Oh, my God, you're so freakishly talking. You know, and it's sort of weird. I mean, and I don't know what to say. I can't... I've got no... You're right, I'm tall. And you can't deny it. There's nothing I can yeah. say. And, they, we, you know, we did it in the office that the, the same... It's always the same stuff. Um, what's the weather like up there? And uh, did your parents put you in a grow bag as a kid? <laughs> um, yeah. No. So they uh, <laughs> So can we can we can actually though cross it off the list. They didn't. They didn't put me in a grow bag. They didn't put me in a rack to stretch me. <laughs> Has um, anyone ever said that? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Why would they and say they that? Always, they, they always say, "Do you play basketball?" 
Again, which ah, I was going to... That's my next question. Do you play basketball? Because <laughs> no, no. with a God-given talent like height, you should maybe parlay well, that into again, sport. Again, you know, we love men in pub toilets saying, um, do you play basketball? And I always think that unless you're, you know, a scout from the Harlem Globetrotters, yeah, you've got no there's nowhere to go with this conversation. Because yeah. if you say yes, what would they say? Uh, well, again, they're just, I'm just a bloke on a piss. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, yeah... It's I, not a reference to your dribbling, then, that they say the basketball line is... <laughs> <laughs> I apologise for the quality of that last pun. Um, <laughs> now, uh, Extra's Christmas special. I'm looking forward to it. I, I've been sent a copy and I haven't watched it yet. I'm saving really it for near Christmas. Not, well, I didn't want to watch it in advance because my wife really like wanted to watch it with me. And I thought, if I watch it like for the, for the purpose of the show, I spoil that as a, a thing we enjoy together. Because yes. the uh, Office Christmas special, I thought, was just about one of the best specials I've ever seen on TV. I just, it was just such a marvellous end to the series. And it must have been a tough thing to finish off, I would have thought. Or yes. did you have that in mind when you were heading towards it? Did you know where you were going to go with those storylines? Uh, we always wanted it to be a sort of romantic conclusion, I think, and, and maybe quite a sort of hopeful yeah. conclusion. I think people th tended to accuse us of being very cynical yeah. and sort of dark and gloomy and, and mean-spirited. And I think, actually, we're, we're quite sentimental, the two of us. And so that, that was what we, we tried to do. So do we have a similar ending, uh, without giving too much away, in, in the extras Christmas special? Is it a similar kind of thing? Because I've heard tell uh, by some people that it's a bit more downbeat and it's a bit more dramatic. No, I would say it's not. I mean, it's, it's, it's 80 minutes, so it's yeah. kind of like a little mini so movie. it's like a film. Is it's that like what you're edging We were aiming for it to be like a film. And I think if, you, if you've not seen the series before, or even if you're not a fan, I think you know, this is kind of, it's self-contained, you can sort of watch it. And you know how, like, at Christmas there's a certain sentiment in the air, and I yeah. think that's why films like, uh, you know, A Christmas Carol and, uh, and It's a Wonderful Life, they sort of tap into that spirit. And, I mean, not to compare us to Dickens, no. you know, you'll be the judge, but um, I think there's, <laughs> there's, um, there's a sort of, there's, we're trying to get into that kind of Christmas okay. sentiment. And you play, of course, we should say in extras, you play uh, Darren, uh, who is Andy, who played by Ricky, his agent. Yes. Not a particularly accomplished agent, really, not a particularly no. good agent, really. No. OK, uh, then we're going to have a, a little clip. This is from the Extras Christmas special. When's it on? It's on the day after Boxing Day. So. The day after Boxing Day. Brilliant. Brilliant. They've given us the prime slot there. That's, That's a real yeah. <laughs> killer slot. It's, so it's a kind of post-Christmas post special, yeah. really. It's, it's when you're sick of Christmas, then yeah. you really want to sit down and watch a Christmas show. <laughs> OK, this is it. It's on the 27th of December. Here's a take. <laughs> Is it nice for you to see, uh, to see that when an audience is watching it and to hear it get a laugh when it's meant to get a laugh? How, how do yeah, you know no, that you've very... hit the right note when you're doing it in the kind of isolation of working on it? No, it's quite nerve-wracking when you have it with an audience, you know, because obviously you're hoping people will laugh. And, yeah, we, we never have an audience with anything. And people sort of very kind of negative about shows with laughter tracks and they say that's kind of old-fashioned and stuff. I think it's great. I think it's a great, you know, it just... It, lifts it in some way. Um, is this the last one then? I know I, I asked you this uh, and I asked Ricky this about uh, The Office uh, yeah. and of course it has been. There hasn't been another one since Christmas special. I get the feeling this would be an easier thing to return to if you wanted to. I feel like it's the natural ending although we did say that at the end of the last series we said we wouldn't do any more and we turned out to be liars um, and I'm endless lying at the BBC yeah, and that's yeah. even more of it. <laughs> and, uh, and so I don't want to say definitely you know, that, okay. that, we won't, that we won't do any more. What would you do next if you don't do that though? Because Ricky's away making movies at the moment it seems. He's making it? films, mm -hmm. yeah. He's got, got a career. Um, I was quite surprised. I thought there would be more calls. Genuinely, yeah, yeah. I really thought there would be more calls, uh, and there haven't been. And I'm really quite shocked yeah. by that. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I should be more proactive. Have you uh, been recognised much since you've been more fond of camera? Since you've been on screen, do you get kind of uh, do you get do ladies offer themselves to you? Do you get that kind of thing? Do you get invited to nightclubs and openings, that kind of stuff? Are you enjoying celebrity? I think frustratingly, I thought that's what would happen. I kind of the reason I got into comedy... It almost always does. Yeah, that's the reason I got into comedy, was for the, for the chicks. And uh, <laughs> I was sort of crushingly disappointed that, uh, unlike sort of being a rock star or something, it didn't, it didn't really sort of happen. Um, but I do get... Uh, I think what frustrates me is I don't, the people who recognise me are not the people that are useful yeah. to me. So, um, <laughs> you know, people who run restaurants don't know who I am. <laughs> um, uh, bouncers at nightclubs have no idea. Um, and so uh, I, I, was a, I was trying to get into a nightclub a, a while ago um, with some friends, uh, you know, and, you know, to be honest with you, was, we were looking for some hot action yeah. that evening. Yeah. It was Friday night. Yeah. Blue Stratos was on and everything. Yes. You know, <laughs> we were smelling good. We were looking good. Yeah, I bet. And uh, we, went to, we, we went all the way to one of those big super clubs down in sort of central London. Yeah. And um, we sort of in the queue and uh, sort of making our way and people sort of steaming going, oh, you're Steve, going, you photo? Yeah. And um, we get to the front, people are having photos taken yeah. and stuff and we get to the, the bouncers and I'm thinking, ding dong, you know, they've seen this action, they think, yeah. you know. You expect them to open the door and right. say, come on in, Mr Merchant, we, we have a VIP section yeah. roped off for you. So yeah. I say, I'm here, I'm here with a couple of male friends, um, uh, can we come in? And they said, uh, no, you can come in. <laughs> I said, come on. Steve Rogan, uh, he said, no, you can't come in. I said, why can't we come in? He said, because you haven't got any girls with you. I said, but we're coming in 
to meet girls. <laughs> this is all coming into the club. Why would we stay? If we had girls, we'd be at home <laughs> with those girls. We wouldn't yeah. be here with you now. He said, you can't come in. So now I've got sort of traipsed back past all these people who were having photos and saying, well done, Steve. And sort of, you know, no, we decided not to go in. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. And then my friend says, uh, what about, uh, there's a sort of VIP entrance over there with a the woman with a clipboard. Shall I go over and say, I'm with Steve Merchant? I thought, I don't, this is, okay, all right. So, um, so he goes over and he says, I'm with Steve Merchant. And she says, uh, oh, okay, all right, yeah, well, I can't let you in here, but I can take you to the front of the queue. <laughs> okay. well, we have been there once, but okay. So they walk ba us back past everyone who's already with us. And they go, all right, Steve, as you go, yeah, yeah, then they go. Yeah. She goes, I don't know who you are. And um, we get there, and the woman says, uh, if you could let him in, Steve Merchant. And the bouncer went, I know he is, he ain't coming in. <laughs> and we had to traipse back again. Oh, no. Lost everyone again. And oh, that's awful. The thing is that, you know, the reason I mention it is because it's like, you know, people often talk about the sort of excruciatingness of, of our show and how kind of agonising yeah. they are and about social yeah. embarrassment. And that, it, you know, continues, and it continues even once you've been on the telly. And you sort of think it's going to be, you're going to escape that world yeah. and that you're no longer going to be embarrassed socially and so on. And it continues even once you've been on, on TV. Um, now, now, uh, uh, this I'm is... I'm so gutted that I'm not on with Will Smith. Now, so he was on last week's show. Do you love him? I love him. I just, I'm infatuated with him. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're I'm not, you're not up, saying anything to, surprising on you by saying you love Will Smith. He's the biggest movie star right. on the planet. Of course you like Will Smith, but do you like him? How much do you like him? Are you a fan from the old day? Do you like right. his music? I, I know him. So, I'm so old school, right? I could bust for you right now is big hit, Boom Shake the Room. <laughs> you, yeah, look, that's... Yeah, I I'm thought... Not just my, a bit, boom, boom, my dream. My dream was to come on with Will Smith and, and do a duet, and you could have made that... that Got a show to do every week. This is, you know, we, we mix people up according to what's going to make a good show. It's not like, uh, what would Stephen Merchant like for Christmas? <laughs> he wants to meet Will Smith. Well, let's have a bit of boom, boom, shaka the womb. Um, can you give me a sort of beat or anything? I don't know. How does it go? It goes... <laughs> 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 Yo, back up now and give her brother room. The fuse is lit and I'm about to go boom. Mercy, mercy, mercy me. Yo, my life is a cage, but on stage I'm free. Hyped up, psyched up, ready for whiling. Standing in a crowd of girls like an island. See the one I want to say, come here, cutie. I flip her around and then I work that booty. Work the body, work, work the body. Slow down, girl, you're about to hurt somebody. <laughs> That was quite Sunday. That was quite Sunday. We didn't even get to the chorus. Well, let's do it now. Two, three, four. Boom, shake, shake, shake the room. Boom, shake, 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 shake the room. Boom, shake, shake, shake the room. Tick, 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 tick. Boom. Yes, that's it. TV gold. Right there. That's TV gold. But you are an old school hip hop fan, aren't you? You like yeah, you I love the hip hop, Listen, don't you? No, I just keep it bloody real. So <laughs> soon. <laughs> well, you know, because Stephen has a he has a radio show, don't you? On, on Radio Six, Sweet boom man. boom shaka the room, yeah. and, uh, boom well, boom shaka the room. Whatever it is. <laughs> Don't go getting no beef in my face. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of music do you play on the Radio 6? The radio uh, well, I occasionally drop some, some hip-hop or tea. Some heavy hip-hop um, bombs go just yeah. drop them in there. But it's uh, generally kind of alternative music, indie music. Okay. That's on uh, BBC Radio 6 on Sundays, I believe. On Sunday afternoon. Okay, okay. Hey, I have you agree, Steve Merchant is a very, very funny and talented man in his own right. Uh, it's great having you here. Thank you. Mr. Stephen Merchant, ladies and gentlemen. That was great, Stephen. Okay. I said you were going to lost me. As the start by mentioning the dance room. He's still my turn. Hey, nice to see you. And that's Mr. Stephen Merchant.